Welcome back to the internet guys, it's time for Shoshigic Lovers Manga Review. Welcome back to the guys, I can't even show the cover of this one, at least I don't think so, I'm going to show it like this. Um, this is the Shoshigic Lovers uh, Review of, of Volume 1. Uh, just off the bat, I can tell you uh, there is that mature content, so... Um, if if you are a kid, then you shouldn't be reading this. Um, just, just throwing it out there. Um, I am sent all these copies to review, and again, uh, just just for premises, I do like to get all different genres, so I pick all the first volumes. That's it, it is what it is. So, um, thank you again to Yem Press for sending me this copy. If you have not checked out YemPress.com, they have a huge collection. Like I said. I review almost all their first volumes because uh, they have so many genres. They have stuff like this. Uh, they have adventure. They have Ithikai. They have uh, magic. They have uh, just food. They have a uh, slice of life. They have high school romance and uh, adult romance and all type of stuff, right? So uh, this one I would say is adult romance, but it also is definitely in the um, fan service side. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I want to say... A third of it, almost every other or every three pages, there is a page of fan service or of some sort, I would say. Uh, so yeah, it's heavy, heavy on it. Uh, so just FYI. Uh, before anything else, guys, if you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, it's been kind of hard to actually post videos. Um, uh, so if you're watching this, it's probably September by now, but I'm recording this early August. Uh, it's easy to record. It's just hard to post. It's just, it is what it is. So, oh, well, so we'll hopefully get in a, a good cycle where I can actually uh, start doing more videos on the site again. So, um, okay. What is the series about? Well, we follow the story of Ota. And Kota is the son, um, the, I don't want to say bastard son, but he is the son of a mistress who is like the 23rd mistress of a basically corporation dude. And apparently this guy, we later learn on in the volume, he likes to be very strategic in who he chooses to be his mistress to gain something out of them. And he kicked his mom and him out at a young age. He remembers living there with him. Um, and later on in the volume, we find out that he got kicked out because he beat him in chess. And I guess he didn't like that. So they got kicked out. And the mom still very much is like, we got to respect him. We got to think, you know, good of him and all that. And he doesn't. He doesn't think good of him. Um, because they, they he abandoned them. Like, he, he didn't even provide for them. So, um the story starts with him basically you can tell he's being not you can tell he is being bullied by other kids in high school because their parents are just higher up in the hierarchy uh there's one girl who um he likes and he she protects him sometimes but she's also the um um she's engaged i guess or formerly or unformally engaged to one of his bullies uh, who seems to be like the main villain because uh, I thought they were going to get rid of him this volume, but they're not. He's going to come back. Um, he, in a long story short, goes from nothing to something because his dad is dying and he is the only male son that he conceived with his mistress, mistresses. Uh, so now he's going to become the next chairman and he is basically controlling the situation like a chessboard like he's smart um and this whole ideal thing is they give him five girls as mistress and every every so often he can eliminate one and gain another so there's always five um and basically he needs to eventually choose the final five the ones that are going to give him the power and the wealth and the leadership that he needs to be the next chairman and it's weird because all these girls are basically they're trying to seduce him and but they're also like they don't want to do it they just they're doing it for for the wrong reasons so there is a story behind each one i will say like um there's like a daughter who um their their hotel is basically doing horrible so she's going and dating a, another hotel 
leader because she wants to basically save her dad's hotel. Like, there's a lot of weird things happening, you know, in order for them to protect their names and keep their statuses and how far they will go to keep their statuses is what you'll see in this volume. Uh, the volume ends with him going back to high school and essentially... Uh, the girls all protect him like they they know who he is the bully tries to act like he's just he's the same guy like he's like you don't change even though you're a little higher in, up in the hierarchy and he basically um shames the bully and and the bully um and his minion uh basically um a vow to revenge the the humiliation they went through uh and, and and part of that humiliation is that his fiance is now one of his mistresses so now she is devoted to him and not to the bully so he obviously does not like that right so um that is very very shameful because he's been showing her off as a trophy and now he doesn't have that so um that in a nutshell is it's the first volume uh things i like about it things i like about it is like the stories of uh the girls like their backgrounds like why they're there um i think at the end of the day it doesn't matter if you're poor or rich um it's you know survival of the fittest in some way um i've i've heard people that have been rich and poor say that they themselves have felt happier when they were poor than when they were rich because when they were rich all they all they worried about was staying rich whereas when they were poor it was just kind of like well we're getting by but we're alive we, you know they i guess they were forced more to enjoy the good things in life and whereas when you're rich you they're forced to forget those good things in life and focus on retaining that money. Uh, so, yeah, people will go in different directions to, to retain that status, and the girls definitely show it. So, um, yeah, that's that's one thing I like about it. I, I did like the whole bully situation that, uh, at the end of the day, it, it's true. Like, I, a bully is not just going to back off just because he has status. So they're kind of showing a kind of more truthful way of how it would all reenact in real life. So I like that. Uh, obviously, I'm not a big fan of the, of the full fan service they have. Like, it's, it's very, very much fan service all over the place. Um, but you know there's a story there so so go read it go check it out make sure you get your own opinion and just you know mine is a good one to to go buy off if you want to know what the genre and the story is about but form your own opinion about it once you read it so go buy it yempress.com thank you guys so much for your love and support there is a link in the description below where you guys can buy it cheaper uh give some love to my channel by commenting liking and sharing and i will see you next next time like always don't be strangers see you guys